today, everybody. Welcome to No Booze Reviews, where we take a look at non-alcoholic beverages and uh, decide whether or not they're any good, whether you uh, should drink them, maybe want to drink them, maybe just avoid them entirely, maybe stick with the Coke or the water, or, I don't know, even go back to drinking. Some of them are quite bad. You may even want to just say, oh, okay, I tried this non-alcoholic thing and I'm going back to uh, full-on tequila shooters. But... Like I said, it's not uh, financial advice, and nor am, I, nor am I your father. So you can do whatever you like. All right, let's take a look what we got on the table today. Grimoire. Wow, it's kind of nice graphics, see? Eh? I wonder what's inside. La vie, la vie de Chateau, the life of a castle. Beer uh, sans alcohol, amber rum. What the hell? Non-alcoholic beer, amber rum. Oh, that's why we got the old, uh, this pirate looking fella here and the rum. Man, I don't even know what this is gonna be. Grimoire, la seule et unique, the one and only, en français. So this is, oh, there's stuff all over this can. Uh, brewed by Microbrasserie La Grimoire, Granby, Quebec. Wow, it doesn't, I don't know what this is gonna be like at all. Grimoire, La Vie de Chateau, with the uh, pirate, or the, uh, he's not really a pirate, but he looks scary anyway. Let's give it a try here. I have no idea. I'm guessing I'm not, I don't know. Um, oh, well, I hear the, uh, well, that's a nice, uh, look at that. Whoa, look at that head. That is special. One of the better ones I've seen. Look at that. Amber rum beer. I've never even heard of it. Wow, that's a nice head though. Wow, a little bit hazy. Let's give her a sniff. Holy! Wow. Okay, that that smells nothing like I thought it was gonna smell like. That smells like. Wow. Oh, there's something about that. What is that? Very sweet. Maybe that's the rum, I guess. Amber rum. I wonder what this is going to taste like. It's very interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Very complex smell. Okay, we'll give her a taste. Ole! Oh, what is that? Wow. Whoa. There's a sugary rumness there that, whoa, there's so much going on there. It's like getting hit in the face with like three different kinds of things. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's uh, difficult to describe. Oh. Man, that's uh there's a sweetness in there. Like a oh yeah, like a, a spiced rum flavor, like a cocktail, and then a bitterness uh with effervescence. Goodness. Oh, wow. Wow, there, there's a lot to unpack there, and I'm not sure I'm able to do it. I'm not sure I have the ability or the words to describe what's going on there. There's a, definitely a sweetness layer. There's a bitterness. And, uh, wow, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, oh, man, there's a, there's just a lot going on. There's a sweetness and a bitterness and a beer flavor and a chocolatey, there's a chocolate notes in there and the uh, carbonation. Wow, that's too complicated for me. It really is. 
I mean, <sighs> I don't know what to say about that. Amber rum, amber rum beer. Uh, it, this is, this is like the opposite of the Peroni or the Corona where there's, this is like an algebra integral calculus problem in your mouth and you don't know which way it's all going. Um, it's definitely different. If you want something different, this is for you. This is absolutely nothing. I've never tasted anything like this. This has a bunch of flavors going on. They don't feel very harmonious to me. Uh, I just got to try one more. Wow. Yeah, there's there's uh, something on something going on there that I can't describe. It is a it's like a party or a rumble in your mouth, and three or seven people going in different directions and pulling at things. So anyway, but if you want something that's completely different, I would go with the Grimoire La Vie de Chateau. Uh, is definitely different. It's probably nothing like you've ever... The sweetness, I'm getting the sweetness back, the chocolatey and the sugary uh, sweetness in the back. And it's lingering. And it's not what I want in my beer. That's that. I think that's the main issue. It's the sweetness. And I believe it's this rum part. I, wow. Okay. Yeah, please like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment if you ever had La Vie de Chateau. And uh, maybe you can come up with better words than I have, because I'm having trouble. Ah, I wouldn't drink that again. But like I said, if you want something that's completely different, outside of the uh, envelope in the realm of what you might have thought you could put in a beer, this would be it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back with you uh, with, uh, with more reviews in the future. Thanks very much. Cheers.